Well, even in my teens, I was like, I never want to grow old and saggy and look, you know, ugly to me. You know, it's the resolution came really early on, and then once I started losing my hair, I was really devastated, and I need to do something. And, and this all started in 2004, and then again in 2006. You had a hair transplant trying to, to look younger, right. and those failed. Right, right. And then that started this run-up where you, you did hair transplants again in 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011. Yeah. Then you started the fillers, liposuction. Uh, Drew, the list goes on and oh, no, on. Where'd you get the $100,000? <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a lot From of savings. money. <laughs> yeah. your, your savings, well, I guess you went through your, your savings, but you said something that is really disturbing, that I, that I hear patients say, like, I don't want to age. I want to always look like I'm in my 20s or whatever. We can't do that. We can't do that, especially in a natural way. And you need to to rethink what's going on in your head now no, at I think, your age before you start getting older because you can't attain that. Yes, I think nowadays aging is an option because the, the, you know, you have the possibility, the possibility to, to do all those things. And if you have the money and are willing to invest the time and the pain, you, you can... But well, 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 Toby, we can go do... back in time. And, and, and I want to go back even when you lost weight. Tell me again how you lost weight. Just basically by starving myself for like two months. Okay, unhealthy way of losing weight, right? right and right. you were doing it for other people to try to become more popular. No, no. You, you were doing it for yourself? Yeah, yeah. of course. For now, so, now, I don't, don't want to look in the mirror and be like, you know, look at some old saggy guy, like, because I'm a really happy person. At one point I looked in the mirror and my brows were droopy, my corners of the mouth. And this oh, was come at what on, age? You can't be that droopy at 20 something years yes. old. You we saw your eyes. picture no. and actually, Toby, I, I think. You you looked you looked age appropriate. You didn't look saggy. We saw his yeah. before picture. So, 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 Toby, the, the the thing is here. You, this this makes us really sad. It makes us really sad that you feel like you have to keep cutting on yourself in order to look better. And I, and I was reading your backstory. And didn't your girlfriend almost threaten to break up with you if you got one more surgery? Oh yeah, and that's when I like just basically told her I'd go back to Germany to visit my family. But I stayed at like a hotel here and got the surgery done. <laughs> What it sounds like you need is a, is a little bit of counseling to deal yes. with deal with those feelings that you've had of insecurity. Yeah, because I'm... you know you, you look fantastic at this point, and if you go any further, you're going to start to look like the celebrities that we see that under with their face perm. Right, no, I know. I mean, are, you, are you familiar with something called body dysmorphic yes, syndrome? Yes, I've heard that. I mean, before. it's it's clearly the things that you're saying. You know, you're you're and, really and, saying and you're never going to be satisfied the problem, with your the, looks. The real problem here and it's not just for you, Toby, it's for millions of people, is how much of how we feel about ourselves dictated by what we get back from our friends, our family, society, magazines, media, celebrities. And if we lived in a world with no mirrors, how would you feel about yourself on the inside? And that's the question that has to be answered, because self-worth should not be dictated on what looks back at you in the mirror. Toby, is it the same surgeon that has done most of these things? Uh, no. Like, for hair, I have, like, a specialist. I have a specialist for the eye stuff and then for the lip stuff and for Botox. How tall are you, Toby? 6'2". How, how tall is Justin Bieber? 5'8". Like so what's next? Are you going to cut your legs off? I mean, like, we, we got to... Let's be rational about no, it. No, no, no. I, I mean, I don't want to be, like, a total replica of him because, I mean, there's one Justin Bieber already. I just want to look younger, and I like most of his features. So, you know, if I tell my plastic surgeon, make my eyes look a little more like this or my cheeks, then, of course, it's going to resemble him, which is fine, you know? I mean... Well, Toby, Toby, Toby this is... We have to go, but... We talk about aging a lot on the show. There's a way to age gracefully. And I think about a lot of men out there, whether you're talking Robert Redford, who... Ladies, clap oh, your hands if you think he's hot. hot. Sean Connery. Sean, Sean Connery, Connery is still hot. We're talking about wrinkles Brad and Pitt. all. And I would never argue, look, hair transplant's one thing, okay? I understand that. But we all age, okay? And we all make a choice how we age. But you're at the point right now where I know you want more surgeries. We're asking you, we're asking you, number one, to, to tell your family, okay? 
and think about why you're doing this because you're at a point now of no return. If you keep having more surgeries, you are going to end up losing some of these stru structural elements of your face. Yeah, There's no point the, of the no return. The chances are you keep more and more that something is going to go wrong. And we're telling you, the four of us professionally, you look great. What you've done in the past is, is behind us. We really recommend Stop. that you, you be happy with who you are inside because you look, you look good physically. Toby, thank you for sharing. Thanks, Toby.